Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Quigalus Dofetso. I think that's how you pronounce it, but, you know, it's my my city, I can call it whatever I want. Quigalus Dofetso. There are a lot of little people scurrying around, I'm telling you, it's, it's uh, kind of crazy. I like it. You know, the game seems so... Tiny at first when you only have like ten people and now it feels pretty bustling. Got a bustling village going here. Let's just think about it. We start with ten people, we got some nomads. But then again, most of these people are pretty well inbred, you know? I mean they're all related. Cousins. Kissing cousins. Graves are not full, that's that's nice. We have room for more zombies and dead people. One person's a little cold. So production, we uh, almost produced as much as we used, so we're, I think we're pretty close to okay. But I still think we need to ramp it up. I want to see production higher than usage for a year before I feel comfortable. The great thing about having 25,000 food stored is that let's say there's a 5,000 food deficit. Well, we still have five years to solve the issue. That's, that's the key, but I do think you have to really pay close attention to it. The other thing we could do is we could always just trade for more of it. We'll get, uh... Three... I said 300. We'll definitely buy your coal when you bring it. Warm coats? Sure. We'll buy those too. Warm coats for firewood? I mean, you're essentially trading your firewood for another form of warmth, which is good. It's fine with me. One thing I haven't done in a while is check the, uh, the houses to see how people were doing as far as making new kids. We do have 49 children, 50 children, 50, 49 students, so I think we're doing okay. We've got some really old people, though. 17-year-old boy needs to move out. But in general, I feel like things are going alright as long as we pay close attention to how far away people are working in the main main places. That kind of determines if we are doing well or not. Got nine new laborers to work with. Let's um, get some more vendors. Keep, keep the goods moving where they need to be. And uh, are we good with, with three schools? Maybe we should have a fourth just in case. That seems fine to me. Let's see, where are the schools? One there, one there, one there. Well, that's... Oh, wow, do you, do you live right next to it, or did it zoom in on her? Okay, yeah. I guess we'll put a school up here. Somewhere. Right next to the cemetery. <laughs> it seems like a great location for it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Now the kids can go to the cemetery and have fun. Naughty, naughty children. This barn does not have very much at all in it. Probably because the market's holding most. But I think any overflow would probably end up in that storage barn. You doing okay? It's a lot of beef. Chicken coops. Even having tons of animals don't seem to do much. You guys better not mess up. Harvest it all. Come on. Get to work. Somebody died during childbirth. Is that because we don't have a hospital? Do we have a hospital? I have a hospital, don't I? Yeah, we have one of everything, don't we? Hospital is just for people who are sick. We don't have a brewer. That's one thing I never did do. We should get a brewer. Let's make a brew pit. And put it in the most centrally located town, or, or maybe I'll just make it here. Back up to nine laborers again. Man, this town is growing fast.
27,000 food. And our production shows that uh, it would be so nice if these were clickable. Oh, wow, we are way overproducing food now. <laughs> Holy crap. We're doing good on food. Now we're just low on logs. Well, if that's the case, if we're doing that great on food, let's let them harvest trees here as well. Could use another home or two over here. And you know, this one needs a, uh, one thing I forgot. I forgot to build a storage barn down here. You have for us raw materials. We'll take it. We'll take the stone and leather and... Not the leather, but we'll take the stone, the iron, the coal. Forty two hundred units would be a thousand fifty. Thousand fifty, like I said. Do you want your warm coats? Not really. I mean we've got tons of coats, don't we? Way more than the population. Let's take a look at some of our graphs. We haven't done that in a while. What's this? Oh, yeah, we need a person to work here. What kind of stuff do we want to make? Well, what do we have an abundance of as far as things that can turn into alcohol? We've got potatoes, pumpkins, beans, and wheat. Okay, can we make any alcohol out of those? Can we make potatoes? Potatoes can turn into vodka. Don't give me this crap. I know you can make potato vodka. Apparently these are the only types of ales we can make. Appleberries, cherry peach. We can make wheat. We've got wheat, right? Yeah. <coughs> Drink and be merry, my friends. 40% on the quarry. That thing's going to go away quicker than we expect. We'll just leave that one on. Well... I guess we got enough laborers, we can spare one. Okay, so are you making ale yet? Wow, 96 ale, that was quick. Did you make all that ale? Or was that some ale that we bought or something? Seems like they like generated it instantly. Where's our... our worker? Why am I going crazy? Where's the button? Ah, that's the button. Let's follow the brewer. What you doing? Get to work! Make booze! Where are you going? I guess you're probably... picking up... wheat. Okay. Well, I'm fairly certain that there's a market right here. <laughs> Is there no wheat in this market? Yeah. That's why I think we need more vendors. Because the vendors will probably, like, average it all out and balance it so that every market has a good mixture. So perhaps the tavern being here and the market here not having what we need, maybe it'd be better to use the berries. You can't make alcohol out of beans, right? <laughs> we need more plants, we need more trees. I don't have enough orchards. So we gotta plan that out. Where are we gonna put the next set of orchards? Well, considering that, um... We've got forest lodges here and here. And wow, those, those kind of overlap a lot. Is it safe to put all of the farm-related stuff in one area? 
Seems like a bad idea. 23,000. Why does that feel lower than it should be? Used, produced. This year we're actually producing far less than we've consumed. Hmm. Well, what season was it that I checked that where we overproduced? I don't know. Trampled by a wild boar. That sucks. These these guys are doing a good job in getting this thing stockpiled. Damn. Not a lot of people live over here, but they've got all the stuff. Okay, we're going to build some more farms. But I want the people to live inside this circle, so I feel like the farms should be around it. Maybe it doesn't matter as much as I worry about. I'm going to reserve at least the most close location for the homes. Let's build some farm plots. Damn it. Just in time to distract me. You don't have... you just have food. Oh, you're the food merchant. Kind of makes sense. Well, we'll buy some just to try to get some diversity. I don't. I, I think we have. We're probably producing most of this stuff, but um, I'll buy the things that I don't think we have. Let's buy your berries, and we'll t start making berry ale. So that'd be fifteen twenty-five. What's that? Oh, he's only giving me... He's not giving me full value for the firewood. Okay, so 1525 plus another 500 or so. So, like, 2051. Like, all of it. Close enough. And we'll switch you up to berry ale. Since we just bought 2,000 berries. And we've actually hit our cap on coal, because I keep buying it. I don't want to exhaust our coal mine. Not that we can't... We could can just build another one, but... Yeah, we got a lot of berries. Venison and fish are coming down quick. But we, we bumped everything else up. That's probably the reason why we're not producing as much as we're consuming. It's probably just because we are switching over to a more far more agricultural industry or society. So the majority of the production of food will happen in the fall, not in the spring. So I think it's probably normal that the amount of used food would be higher in the beginning of the year and in the summer, and then in the, in the end of the year, by the end of the year, we're going to outproduce. Yes, we're, we're outproducing the food consumed now by quite a bit. There's that population just growing like crazy. 51 students. Got our six. Our uh, fourth teacher is online. That's good. Right. So back to what we were doing. We're gonna build some more orchards, and we want the orchards to be pretty big. I think. Try to be space efficient. The orchards too large. Oh, is the orchards that can only be 15 by 15? Yes, it is. Okay. We should probably leave a road going out, because we're going to continue to expand in that direction. Okay, and I want a storage barn for these. And we're going to need some more homes up here to keep these guys working. Let's try to build and use what we can here. Gosh, I feel so wasteful.
three more homes enough? Probably not. Works for me. Okay, go forth and work, my people. Slaves. Peasants. 176 mouths to feed. 31,000 food, so I feel like we probably got a lot of production in there at the end. Extra 4,000 units, but it might average out at the end of the year by the time winter rolls around. And they're uh, still trying to harvest pumpkins. Even though we're capped out, they're just kind of taking their time, apparently. In the end of the day, it, it might it might be the case that large crop fields are less efficient because they have to travel further. Maybe you'd be better off having like a uh, like in the same area here, 20 by 20. Instead, do like 5 by 5, 5 by 5, 5 by 5, 5 by 5, and then each individual farmer would be able to go quicker to a location. Or, for instance, what if you did? I'm gonna. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna test something. I need to find empty land. Okay, let's just experiment for a second. Let's say that we did um, a storage barn in the center, and we did say um, home, home. That provides two adults, two adults, that's four adults. We need four people for a, a full-sized farm. So what if we did a farm, and we did it here, and we went five by five. That's gonna give us too many. See, that's not really what I'm thinking about. I'm not thinking about having them like that. I'm thinking to, you know, take these two, put them on this side, try to get it so that the storage barn's right in the center. Just to make sure that... Yeah, I don't know. Just something to think about. One of the ways that I obsess over the game. So, okay. I'm going to take a break here, though. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.